Hello and welcome to this video tutorial about Excel links in Empower Charts. This video tutorial is based on the version 8.10 of Empower Charts. However, if you're using a newer version of Empower Charts, the same ways on how you can work with Excel links are still valid. Looking into the agenda, we will start in PowerPoint and linking a chart to an Excel file. We will then start in Excel and using the information from there and linking them to a new and existing chart. We will be linking tables and text. We will be linking a gun chart and I will give you some information about the Excel link manager and SharePoint and OneDrive. Starting with the first agenda point, starting in PowerPoint and linking a chart to an Excel file. If you have inserted a chart on a slide, you will select this chart, navigate to the bar on top of the chart, go to the data section and click on Excel link. Within this window that opens, you can then either open a local file, one that is already opened, or you can browse for another local file, or you can also paste a SharePoint URL within this window here and open the Excel link from there as well. I will open the already opened local file. I will navigate to the information that I would like to use. I will select the range here. Click on OK. And then within this window, you can see that you have the Excel file data name again here listed. You have the Excel range that was chosen. You can define if the series are by rows or by columns. In our case, the series are the dark and light blue information. Within the information in Excel, it's the product A to D. So in this case, it's listed or it's defined by rows, the series are by rows, so you will leave this as it is here. You can then define if you would like to refresh the data automatically on open. So in this case, it enables or disables automatic refreshing once the Excel links when opening the presentation. And you can define if you would like to use a relative path. So if you have linked a chart with an external data source, just as we have did with our example, you can set to use a relative path. So instead of using an invariable path, this setting will allow you to use a relative path of the respective PowerPoint and Excel file. For example, if you wish to send a PowerPoint or Excel file as an email attachment, the recipient is then also able to save these files to the local hard drive. Even though the connection to the chart refers to a path that is inaccessible to this recipient, a link to the Excel data can be established via this relative path. If you click on OK, then you will see that the data is adapted and use using the information from the linked Excel file. Now we will start in the Excel file and linking to a new and existing chart. I have the range selected here and I will use this information also to linking to a new Empower chart. You will navigate to the inserting section and then within this section, clicking on link to new Empower chart, you will have a choice to select the chart that you would like to insert. I will go ahead and use a stacked columns. Then you can either define the area where you would like to place the new chart or click on the placeholder. And then you will see that the information from the Excel file is inserted here as well. You will see on top that some default settings have been set for this link. And if you would like to edit the settings, then you can click on this button and you have this window where you can define and edit the settings here. Same if you would like to link information from an Excel file to an existing chart. I will also use the same information for the existing chart. Then say within this section, link to existing chart, I will navigate to the chart. Say here on top, create link, and you will see that the information from the Excel file is also inserted and used for the existing chart. Also for this, Chart, some default settings have been set. If you would like to edit them, you can go and click on the edit settings. 
the same goes for tables and text. So now I would like to use this selected range of information and link it to a table that is existing in PowerPoint presentation. So I will go and click on link to existing object again. I will click on the table and say create link here. You will then see that also the information that you have selected within the Excel file is used for this table. With the next example, I would like to show you how you can also use some color information for the table that is inserted into PowerPoint. For this, I will select this range of information where you see that some different colors have been used. I will say link to existing object again, and then I will navigate to this table too in our example, say create link, and then also the information is inserted here. For the first step, it will keep the table style and information from the table that was inserted in PowerPoint. If you would like to use the Excel colors, you will go to this button here, edit Excel link, and then say on this first one here, use Excel colors. You will select yes here, click on OK, and you will then see that the information from the Excel file is also adapted to this table. You will see that just one cell has the white fill color. This is because the majority of the cell colors here actually have no fill color selected. These are already not using any color, it's no fill. Whereas this cell that with this 262 has a fill color of white and this is why this actually is also shown in white within the PowerPoint presentation on this slide here. You can also link text. This is what I will show you now. So I will choose the text I would like to link to PowerPoint. Then I will go to link to existing object again. I will navigate to the place where I would like to insert the text, say create link here. And then you will also see that the text from the Excel file is now used within this presentation and that we have created a link here as well. Now I would like to show you how you can also link gun shots. Same here, we will start in the Excel file where we have the gun shot information. You will select the information, the data that you would like to use for your gun shot. You will then say link to new empowered chart. With this window, you will see that the gun shot is pre-selected because the information that is used within this Excel file shows that it's a gun chart, most likely. You can then click on the gun chart, click on the placeholder or define the area where you would like to insert the gun chart. And then you will see that this gun chart wizard comes up where you can define some settings for your gun chart. We will leave this as it is, as the information from the Excel file shall be used for our gun chart in PowerPoint as well. So then if you click on insert, you will see that the information are now shown as a gun chart. Also here, some default settings have been set. And if you would like to edit them, you can do so by clicking on edit settings here. Another very quick way on how you can work with Excel information, information using them in PowerPoint is by linking the objects by copy and paste. So if we navigate to our Excel file again, I will choose the data that I would like to use and copy to our presentation on this slide here, starting with a chart first. So I will use this information here. I will use the copy. I will use and paste this information. And then you will see that the information by copy and paste has been linked to this table. And also here, the, the some settings have been set for this Excel link. You can do the same if you would like to use some information on a table. Then you select the information in the data range here again, navigate to your table, use paste. And then if you click on this one, then you have also linked the information from the Excel file 
and these are now used for either the chart or the table. Same if you would like to link some text. You can also do so by copy and paste for these ones. You will select the information within the Excel file, select the different text boxes where you would like to insert this information and create the link. Say, paste the inserting or the different content here. Click on this button here and then the pasted data will be also linked. Now I would like to show you and work with you through the Excel Link Manager. You can open the Excel Link Manager if you go to this part here within the Empower ribbon in the Inserting section and then open the Excel Link Manager. And you will see here that all the different elements, charts, tables, texts that you have linked to the Excel file will be shown within this Excel Link Manager. You will see on which slide numbers these different elements are. And if you click on any of these elements, these will also be highlighted on this respective slide. Within the element section, you can see with the symbol and of course with the information next to it, what element it is. And if you click on all of the different things, then you will be also, these will be highlighted on your slide. You will see here where these different elements are linked to. So you have the information to the data file here. You have the path type here, which can be absolute or relative as we have learned. You will see how these are refreshed either manually or automatically on open. And of course you can also change these two path type and refresh types within the Excel Link Manager. If you look at the bar that is on top of the Excel Link Manager, you can either say if you like to refresh all of the different elements and linked objects here. You can define if you would like to refresh selected elements and linked objects. You can edit the different information. For example, if you would like to link it to a new existing file, which might be the case for a monthly overview where now the information from a different Excel file will be used. If you would like to do so, it is important to understand that it needs to have the same setup to actually edit and use a new Excel file. Then you can also open the information in Excel. You can say highlight in PowerPoint, just as it is the same if you click on the element. It also works if you click on highlight in PowerPoint here on top of the Excel link manager. You can also break the links to the respective Excel file if you would like to do so. And with the bulk actions, you can do some different things with the majority or a couple of elements at once. So for example, now that we have used the absolute path type for all of our elements, you can e easy change this to use the relative path. And by bulk action, you will see that all of them are now changed and you don't have to select each individual one Same goes for the refresh. Now it's set on manually, but if you would like to set a couple of them to be refreshed automatically on open, you can also do so with this bulk action button here. And then if you say refresh, set auto refresh on open, you will see that the ones that you have chosen will not only be, cho be changed, but instead all of the ones will be then changed by bulk action to auto update on open. Rescan a presentation is also might be helpful for you. For example, if you have deactivated Empower charts or you have not used it, installed it on a system without Empower charts 
And then you have, for example, duplicated a slide and then also the links have been copied and duplicated. And if you then use this rescan presentation button, then you will make sure that the different links to the Excel file will also be available and the charts, tables, information will be used to this Excel file as well. Within the settings, here you can configure the separators so then you can define which number format should be applied as separators for linked shapes and tables. So by default this is set automatically but if you would like to change it to manually then you can here define and configure the decimal and group separators for the linked shapes and tables. The last point that I would like to mention are some SharePoint and OneDrive, OneDrive tips and hints. So we advise to open an Excel file from the cloud first and then use link to the local file instead of pasting the URL into the window that I was showing you early within this video tutorial. This way you can make sure that you don't have or you, that you don't make any errors by inserting the URL. It works also with locally synced files and MFA protection, which is multi-factor author authentication. And in some cases, the SharePoint administrator needs to allow Empower Charts to work with SharePoint. You will be notified about this and this need just needs to be done and allowed once. We hope that this video tutorial helps you to work with the Excel link managers and that you understand how you can link tables, charts, different elements within a PowerPoint presentation to an Excel file either by starting in PowerPoint or in the Excel file.